Hello everyone, this is So Hellkite, and welcome to my first weapons guide video. And today's first weapon is the Greatsword. Before I get into the basics and the advanced and the charging abilities, let's go over the strength and weakness for this weapon. I've been using this weapon since the game first came out, and let's just say, the biggest weakness for this weapon, it is very, very slow. It's about as best you're going to be walking around. <laughs> And of course, it swings very slow. So if you guys are into all your dual blades, long swords, or insect glaive and looking for what the great sword does, this weapon is not for you if you like all your combos. But the main strength of this weapon, being called a great sword, you know straight away this weapon is devastating. It might be slow, but my god, does it pack a punch. You can kill anything in a couple of seconds with this weapon if you hit the right spots. Of course every weapon can do that but the great sword just feels a lot more satisfying. Getting a giant piece of slab and just throwing it towards the monster's face. Let's get on with the basics shall we. First of all this weapon you can when you're walking around you can dodge with it so if monsters are charging at you you dodge out the way of course but that depletes stamina which you don't want to do but of course if you need to use it that's fair enough. And of course, it's gone with the basic weapon skills as well. If you hit X, you do a downward strike. But it's very slow, but what you can do if you want to, the Great Tool is very good for doing hit and run moves. So for instance, you're running towards a monster, and you just hit X, you can slap down straight away with the sword. Which is great. And now if you hit the A, you do a 180 degree swing in front of you. And what you can do, you can put X and A, and you can do like a little, like a march move. You're slowly going forward, but you can keep on swinging. Which is quite cool. These <laughs> monsters have no idea what I'm doing. And if you hit X and A together, you kind of write like an uppercut swing, where it's anything in front of you, and the air, and behind you. And of course, you can put this into a combo as well. So, you can uppercut, 180 swing downward swing and you can keep doing this all the time. It's a great move if you're fighting monsters who are really big and blumby because you can just keep on doing that and then roll up the way. And of course this weapon, the main thing of course, it can block. You can't have a giant slab without blocking now can you? And now I'm going to show you why the Greatsword is so powerful. The main reason why it's called cool Greatsword in this game is because of the charge ability. The charge ability is a devastating attack where it hits enemies very hard. And how you do it, you have your weapon drawn, or running, it works the same way, I'll show that twice. You hold down X, and you charge it up. I'll show you the running charge as well. Yep, you do. Works both ways. But you can't just hold down X, you have to let go at a precise moment. Each flash you saw there was a level of charge, level 1, level 2, and level 3. And of course you want to be able to use the level 3 because it hits a lot harder. If you just hold down X, you completely negate the attack. And it doesn't even work, it's just literally just another move you'd be using. How you do it, you let go at the last flash or the flash you want to use that. For instance, once you want to re-up and attack you, you can basically just use level, or level 1, level 2, or level 3 attack. Hopefully one of the smaller ones if you want to get out of the way quicker. Hold on X, never mind, weapon goes away. Hold on X. One, two, three, straight away. And of course you have got other attacks as well to get into a second charge ability. Once your weapon is drawn, and after you finish just a normal X move, a charge move, or anything any sort of downward strike move. If you smack on the, the stick and hit X at the same time, you kind of whip your weapon and smack anything in front of you and this will get into a new sort of combo. And of course you can do other ways of that, I'll show you both ways. Straight down, whip with the analog stick and you get back into that thing where you whip it and they bring it up to you. That's like the other charging move, what you can do as well. And of course you can just by doing it by kicking, whipping the weapon out Smack on the stick and hit X. Anything, any, anything on the movement stick, you can do that move. So kick, you kick out, whip into the move. Yeah. 
it's absolutely awesome. And you can do it while blocking as well. If you're blocking and you block the attack, you can kick out straight in with the move again. It's absolutely awesome. And you can string together like the downward strike with that move and this. It's absolutely fantastic. And of course, with jumping, you have got a charge ability as well. Once you jump off a cliff, because being awesome Monster Hunter 4, you can jump off stuff now. You jump off, weapon down, hit it again, and you swing up in the air. Bear in mind though, you will be invulnerable for a brief second. So once you jump off the cliff and actually attack, you can't dodge or anything for that amount of time. So be careful when using that attack. You gotta make sure it's either gonna stun an enemy or knock it over or get distracted by something else. And that spin attack you can do in the level th in the level three charge by uh, kicking out, whipping up, and again, hit again. Here we go. Just string together that an awesome move. A nice little touch as well. If you want to block, but your weapon is not drawn, it takes too long to get your weapon out and block, and by then the monster's already run over and smacked you in the face. If you clearly just hold down R and X, you block automatically. Same with the sword and shield, the same with the hammer. You can just whip out the weapon and do this straight away. It's absolutely gr it's a gr it's a great feature and it saved my ass a lot in hunts. I just want to quickly show off how the charge ability can actually work in a situation because all I was doing is actually doing a quote unquote demonstration of how it actually works. Oh, you can do all this. But the rat thing kind of gets in a silly situation where she actually puts her back towards me. So I take advantage of that by jumping on her back and riding her like a cheap whore, which is awesome. And uh, I basically show off basically the charge combo, which is the X down attack, then the smack, and then the level two one, and then you swing in for the level three. And uh, it's an absolutely devastating attack. I can't believe how strong it is. And I've, I've with this attack, I've actually one shot. I've actually killed monsters by doing this combo, just a string together, just completely on the face. So one, two, and three, smack, and a whipped, and a straight game from level two, two, three, and then swing again. And I just missed her, which is sucks. But you can see the potential of how well that attack can string together so well. And great swords are great for like hit and run tactics as well. Just remember that as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this. Me doing my first weapon, guys. If you guys did enjoy this, do comment, like, and subscribe. Take care of yourself, guys, and have an awesome day. And do let me know if you want me to do any more of these guides as well. Take care, guys. Once again, bye bye. Scrub. You do amazing things. Don't get hit. <laughs> I think. I think oh. What did you throw at him? I'm let you guys set to you this one.